better place. We have what it takes to make our world a better place. We are smart at what we do to make our world a better place. We are smart at what we do to make our world Biotic factors. Within an ecosystem, there are two kinds of factors. We have biotic factors and we have our biotic factors. Now, biotic factors are those factors that are caused by interaction between organisms. Then, our biotic factors, these are factors that are caused by the environment, or they're known as environmental factors. These include Wind, light, we have temperature, we have uh, humidity, humidity, uh, light, humidity, we have salinity, we have atmospheric pressure. We have atmospheric pressure. Now, for our lesson today, we are going to look at only two factors within the ecosystem. We are going to look at one factor, wind, and then discuss light as a factor within the ecosystem. Let's look at wind first. Now, we might want to ask, what is wind? Wind is a simple, simply expresses wind is moving air. Wind is just moving air. Now in this uh, lesson, I want us to look at the effect of wind in the ecosystem. I list down the effect of wind in an ecosystem because wind is a very important factor within an ecosystem. The first effect of wind is through wind uh, pollination takes place. Meaning wind carries pollen grain from one point to another. So it leads to pollination. The second important is when fruits are formed and seeds are formed, they need to be dispersed from the mother plant to other areas. So wind is an agent of, of a disperser. So wind is an agent of fruits and seed dispersal. Number three, when animals like lion hunt, they face the direction of the wind and then the wind wafts smell so that the predators are able to hunt. So wind aids in wafting smell or carrying smell during predation. It aids in predation. Now, again, for birds that move from one continent to another, for, for example, flamingo, they migrate from Africa to Europe. For them to migrate, they follow the direction of wind, they spread their wings, and they're carried softly to the where or to where they're going. Therefore, wind, wind aids in migration of birds. Aids in migration of birds. Now, some effects are negative. For example, wind increases pollen, increases transpiration, increases rate of transpiration. Uh, wind also causes breakages. It causes breakages of plants, wind such as hurricanes and the rest, when they occur, they cause damage, extensive damage 
to plants and animals, uh, even uh, human settlements. Number seven, wind forms sand dunes. Sand dunes in, in deserts, which are habitats for organisms. In the desert, there are those sand dunes, which act as habitats for some organisms. And maybe the last one, when the wind blows, it creates waves in the sea. And those waves causes aeration of water. Waves cause aeration of water in the sea, therefore the water in lakes and sea can obtain water, can, can obtain enough oxygen for other marine animals or aquatic animals uh, to survive on. Therefore, wind is a very, very important factor within an ecosystem. Now, wind is measured, the speed of wind or the speed of wind is measured by an instrument known as anemometer. Anemometer measures the speed of wind. Now, the direction of wind can be measured, can be shown using a wind vein or wind sock. These two show direction. This measures the speed. So wind is an important factor within an ecosystem. The other factor I want us to look at, at is light. Light or light density. Light or light intensity. Or let me use the word light. Light is a very important factor within an ecosystem. First of all, light is used by green plants, uh, used by green plants to make food, food that is fed on by other organisms within an ecosystem. So it is aids in or it is very important in photosynthesis, that is in making of food, weed is quite important in the making of uh, that is likely important in making food green photosynthesis. Uh, wind aids in predation for animals to hunt. They need light to see. Therefore, wind, wind aids in uh, or light aids in predation. Light is very important uh, for animals to see. Some plants cannot germinate without enough light. So, uh, there is what is called seed. It aids in seed germination. Uh, some plants cannot undergo reproduction. Especially those that undergo or tradition of generation. That cannot occur without presence of light. Therefore, light is important in reproduction of plants very very important now light within an ecosystem is measured in terms of light intensity light wavelength and light duration these are the three aspects of light that are important in an ecosystem. The intensity of light, the type of light wavelength, and the duration of light. How many hours in a day do you have light present? Now, uh, to measure light in air, we use a photographic light meter. A photographic light meter measures light intensity in air. Photographic light meter. Now, to measure penetration of light in water, in water bodies such as lakes and seas, 
to measure how much light penetrates in the water, we use an instrument known as a Sitchi disc. A Sitchi disc measures penetration of light in water. Therefore, these are the aspects of light that are important in an echo system. We have come to the end of this lesson. I hope we will link up the next lesson.